right. Hello everyone. Welcome to my uh, my playthrough of a horror game called White Day on PlayStation 4. So this is not me live streaming. This is just me doing voiceover for my gameplay on the PS4 while using the software to record my footage on the PS4. <laughs> and um, yeah, so um, this is White Day. Um, it's a really old game I had played a long time ago on, on the PC, and they, uh, it was years ago. Um, I don't remember how long ago. It was a long time ago. They finally, um, you know, released it, re-released it on, on the consoles. So I'm thinking it's only—I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox or what, but no, but definitely I know. You know, of course, on the PS4. I don't know. If, I think it's on Steam as well. But um, <clears throat> came out like last year. I think it was last year I got this, so the year before, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I played on the PC, and it was really scary at the time. Um, but I'm not sure how it's going to be on here, but we'll see. <laughs> but uh, alright, so let's begin. Oh, it's like, what happened? <laughs> I heard walking, but it was just the dark screen, so black screen. I was like, "What?" Alright, so that's the start of the game. So pretty much the story of this game, if um no one got it from the beginning. <laughs> so here's this high schooler that um you know goes to the same school as the other girl that he wanted to meet up with. Kind of like Valentine's Day in a way where they have to like, you know, give a gift to the person that they, you know, have interest in, I guess, or feel like love. So they get them, bring them chocolate. So I guess it's something that they do in Korea where it's, you know, <laughs> it's called White Day. But um, that's pretty much what the story is about. He goes into school because he has to get the chocolates to this girl. And also, um, also a notebook, a notebook. Yeah, notebook that she lost so yeah when she was sitting on the bench um and that's pretty much it with the story that's how he got here and then um <clears throat> what i like most about this game uh is that it has more of that old school feeling to it you know like the old school classic you know horror games you know especially being a first person it makes it even more scary you know what it reminds me of kind of reminds me of the old school resident Evil back in the kids with this game reminds me I'm not sure if you guys get the same vibe, but yeah, so but that's it. <clears throat> I want no interruptions today. Put this on vibrate. <sighs> Love the environments. So this is pretty much my second, you know, playthrough video on my new channel. Um, oh, I need to speak more about that as well. Yeah, so this is you know my new channel. This is where I'm posting my um, video game content solely for video game, video gaming, and also if in the future I want to do anything with technology, like anything with like phones, got really big on like Android phones and um, you know small watches and you know things like that. So I'm gonna be doing that a lot on this channel, but mainly I'm focused on this video game content for this channel only, and uh, that's all it's gonna be. So. From now on, this is, um, you know, going to be a channel I'm going to post my videos on my gaming videos. And my other, older channel, which I originally had, you know, my gaming videos on, is going to be on this channel now. And then on that channel, is only going to be me talking about, um, that channel is going to be for, like, you know, of course, like I had mentioned before previously, my other videos is just about, you know, talking about things in today's, um, <clears throat> today's real, any articles that come to mind, anything to do with rants, any type of discussions. Also gonna be doing um like uh like videos with my friends um and what else still miss doing the dance dance videos I used to do back then <laughs> gonna be doing that again as well probably like short films all that type of stuff is gonna be solely for that channel the older channel but yeah this channel is only gonna be for gaming so uh, yeah and tech whenever I decide to do it but now that's in the works that's just some that's just something that came to mind. But um yeah, so um that's pretty much it with when it comes to new channel, just you know to let you guys know about that. But yeah. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, yeah, all these damn pop-ups for all these like 
tutorials and like you know like little tips and hints yeah kind of gets annoying but yeah i just don't need to really read it because i already know the gist of the game because i have played this already like i said on the pc already and i have played this game a little bit when it first came out but then i stopped playing it because um I got stuck at one part, like the puzzles is kind of annoying because it doesn't really give you much like insight of what you're supposed to do. So I was running back and forth, back and forth to try and figure this one part out and I couldn't do it. So I eventually just gave up on the game. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> but you know, I finally decided to come back to this game and um, I, I beat it. So um, really short game, not long at all. So. Um, uh, honestly, I needed the help of um, Google. I had to go in there to check out um, like how to figure out that puzzle. And pretty much I was using that tutorial website to help me with certain things in this game because there was a lot of time that I was stuck. So it helped me out a lot to um, get to, you know, finally be able to complete the game. I'm happy I beat it. There's multiple endings on this game, but I decided after the first ending and from the entire gameplay of this that, uh, that I won't play it again. It's just... Yeah, <laughs> to me it wasn't all that great, but um, you guys will see. Yeah, so uh, checking on these lockers, empty, all of them empty. And I like how all the lockers just they're open, like <laughs> all the everyone keeps their private, you know, personal belongings and these stuff, and they don't lock it. It's heavy. All the lockers are just open. Alright, yeah, we know how to open the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. We'll press X, I know. Yeah, right now I have the key. So, yeah. Um, for you guys, anybody who has played this game, uh, no, you already know, <laughs> but it's a lot of. It's a really annoying because a lot of walking back and forth in this game. Not only that, you have to hide a lot. So, yeah. Um, it's kind of annoying because. Um, I mean, to me, it's not that bad because I know you don't have a weapon to defend yourself. But to me, I feel like in horror games, when you don't have a weapon and you're more like have to hide or run away from the enemy, it gives it more of that, like, you know, that really, that, that horror feeling to the game, you know, where it's like, you know, you, you're not safe. You're like, you don't have um, a weapon to protect you or you don't feel overpowered, you know? So I like it. But I know to some people, it's probably annoying. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, that clock. You really need some oil. But uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I know it's annoying because you have to hide a lot and then it kind of like... I don't know, it kind of ruins it to me because it ruins it for me because I feel like, you know, like hiding so much in this game, you just get kind of bored. and It's like, okay, like, I need to progress now. I'm tired of sitting here waiting, you know, to do something, you know? Yeah. But I'm not sure if anybody has played this because I don't remember seeing any gameplay on, on YouTube of this game. I'm not sure this passed a lot of people, but um, yeah. Honestly, it wasn't all that great, anyways. But, <laughs> but yeah. But it was it was scary for what it was. So, yeah. A lot of reading in this game, too. But, um, yeah. This is one of the ghost stories The Secret of the Pond. Um. <clears throat> one thing with this game is that I haven't found out. I mean, well, it hasn't accounted me, but um, these ghost stories are actually, you know, actual events in the game that you have to find. Um, you know, and I think there's trophies for each ghost that you can find. But the whole time since I played this, I only met one, so I only found one ghost, and uh, that was about it. Um, but like I said, I'm not, not interested in playing the game over to find out anything, but I guess. Um, somewhere in YouTube it should be a video I <laughs> haven't looked thoroughly but yeah from what I know I don't remember seeing anybody post about this game yeah. there was a lot of notes a lot of reading in this game um, some of the notes I'm gonna be skimming through and some of them I'll just probably take time to read it And this is pretty much what you're going to be doing often in this game. <laughs> Walking around, trying to find out what to do next. Walking aimlessly. <clears throat> I remember 
this part. I was trying to figure out where to find a key to open that door in the hallway. check something make sure that it it was recording oh, damn like annoying clock door <laughs> confusing ah, that's the thing with this game I know this part was annoying because I had to walk back and forth to try to find something All right, school magazine Structure using the map, yes, I know that. I use the map. Hmm. It's such an old classroom. You can tell these games take place in so long the past. <clears throat> Finally, we're able to progress. Hmm. So the reason why I didn't progress is because I didn't get that last yeah. magazine to get the last it. like little hint or tutorial. That's, <gasps> that's so. Oh my. You totally startled being so me just then. I know the choices um, affects the, mm. the game. I mean, really? ending of the game. So. Anyway, I'm leaving. See ya. I'm Sung Ah Kim, homeroom eight. <laughs> Why did she walk like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're into So Young as well? Just like all the other boys. So why did you come to school at this hour? Oh wow, well, that's yeah? not your business. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here. You are going to help me out. Jerk about it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, no, why should I help you? Jihan and I yeah, you already know this game is linear, so whatever I choose, gotta help her anyways. Like you showed up. It's nice that she doesn't even know me. She's being rude, and then I had to do something for you. Definitely have what it takes to help me. They asked me what am I doing here later this time? Say the same about them. Well, about her. But then there was the other girl, too. Welcome! First time in the girls' bathroom? <laughs> Why? Wow. Worried I want something weird? I left my book in the home ec room. I can't get in because it's locked. I happen to know that the keys are in the auto shop classroom, but it's locked as well. But you... 
can crawl through that vent up there and get me the keys. Thank you. I knew that you'd help. Hmm. We'll need a ladder. <laughs> I should have said no, you And we'll it. also need some sort of cutting tool. Why don't you look around? Mom, I have some data to help. She can help you. Anyways, so now we have to get the ladder and something to cut the gate, the the wires. I don't know why is it. <laughs> Keep looking at that chair. There's a stand in the middle, of the hallway. I say for an old game, it's, graphics are not that bad. You know, you can tell it's an old game, but um, yeah, they was able to like improve it. You know, buff up the graphics a little bit for the PS4. It still looks, you know, of course outdated, but not really a big, you know, graphics head anyways. Um, to me, it's more about the gameplay. So, again, your money's worth for these games. Right, there's the ladder. Calling the school at this time. I'm a damn payful. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm about to say it said no coins, but then the can of coffee came out. <laughs> you know, coffee gives you a caffeine, you trick it too much. Melita unhealthy side effects. We all know that. Right, let's get this ladder and bring it back to this lady. Crazy with that, some combos with that baseball bat. But where's the blood? <laughs> okay. And with a beam like that, and no blood. Nothing on the floor, nothing on the bat. Yeah. It was just it was a clean death. <laughs> right when he dragged the back in, the door just like closed by itself. These damn hints are like this common sense. And one thing you got to hate is when you're playing a game and every minute it stops to show you this. Like, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a veteran of horror games. <laughs> Don't need a tutorial. 
only thing I didn't need was a tutorial for those damn puzzles, because it was annoying. Like, no sense of direction and no help, and no insight or anything. Well, then that, it was a fairly easy game. I think at the time playing this game, I think only done maybe. I think twice. Yeah. This part as well. This is the same part I got to in the, in the, when I had in the PC, and the same part I got into this. After this, actually, no, no, there was another part in this game that I got stuck in. That's when I had stopped playing it. But this this little puzzle was not as difficult. skip through that part. Yeah, I skipped through some of the parts because um it was taking a while in the video and then I just felt like some parts I didn't want to include because it was good to like, you know, I don't want to have, I mean, the video is already long enough, so I don't want to include any parts that bore people that, you know, so I took that out. So I know this is the part that after I got the keys inside that room, did that little puzzle, then I um, opened the hallway door. That's when the janitor started chasing me and the girl told me to come here and hide. So that's where I am right now. Alright, a little hints like this is okay, but every other thing they mostly the things that pops up on the screen and they tell you is just like okay, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's like common sense. And, okay, I hear him outside. Some soy milk. So is actually pretty good. Well, not the plain one, but the vanilla flavor is really good. Especially with smoothies. Oh, it looks so scary outside. It would have been great to go outside. <laughs> that creeps me out of this game is the noises. You know, you hear whispering, somebody's knocking on the on the window, the rain, you know, I like that. All that all of that stuff, you know, really you know, adds up to the the, the effects in this game. <laughs> the terror. The, the whole atmosphere. And it's good. It always makes you feel like you know like someone's behind you to to be always on guard and cautious. It's one of the positives this game done well. I want to. I want to mind making like a horror video game with this type of like you know, 3D old school looking engine. I wouldn't mind that. You know, it's my free time, you know, video games as well. It's like it's a TV horror. Ghosts, <laughs> like the crazy janitor, we have magic talismans, all type of things in this game. I 
watching you cannot go outside. No, it's this. This is a drone of a stick bug saying something. I don't know why I was checking these rooms because it was all locked with keys anyways. But um you know I like to be I like to observe it. Observe things, to be observant. Just uh, check my surroundings. You know, just in case I miss things. But I know I remember most of these I mean all of these doors are locked until you get the key. I'm almost at that part. I know now I'm supposed to go in the hallway. And I move that magic talisman over to the that door. to make sure to close them behind me. <laughs> Makes you feel safe safer. You know these lockers are closed. I never got to get find the key for those lockers. Um I know that's one of the ghost stories. Like this one right now they're talking about the woman locked in the closet. I think it refers to those lockers that's locked. I was supposed to get the key. Um but you get it later on in the game and I didn't feel like going back to the theory. I just left it <laughs> left it alone. So that's what this door is about. Interesting story. The rumors that the ghost head had been seen flying out of that closet. <laughs> wow. There are also rumors that male students have been found inside the closet with their bodies crushed and mangled. Teachers try to contain it, but the story spread like wildfire. Yeah. Um, these still ghost stories can be really long, but um, they're interesting to read. Uh, some of them. This one was interesting to, to read. Um, kind of wish I would have got that key <laughs> to open the loggers to see if. That's what would have happened, you know, like how the story, the story says. But um, I like I like reading the stories, the ghost stories. Um, they're really interesting. Kind of gives you that chill, <laughs> chill down the spine, tranquilizer. Yeah, <laughs> you know, used it by accident. It's blood on. Oh, what's that noise? A oh, bloody workbook. There's those noises that I keep getting to me because it sounds like someone's behind me or upstairs or something and it's like uh, it's creeping me out. <laughs> but that's that's good. So that's how our game should be done. I'm on the second floor. This is her home room, the girl that he's been searching for. I know that that door is locked. Um, this game is just, it's confusing. It's like a, I'm walking back and forth. 
Tschüss. Damn, I'm in the back this time. <laughs> Make it any better. It's kind of annoying, actually. Checking all these garbages and it's like whatever these things are. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Hmm? Not in the Jenna's mailbox. Maybe if you need the key, you find in the key box in the main office. I like the password, it's not a toolbox. Okay. You know, it took me a while to get that one because even on. Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> but yeah, that letter pretty much tells me one of the codes that I was getting confused with um, within the game. It told me right there. Just go and get a, look at the toolbox. And um, and yeah, see, I skipped past it to get to the toolbox because I was walking around trying to find it. So once you get the tool, I mean the screwdriver, the tool belt, and you have to, yeah, flip it over and then you get the code. 6243. So yeah. I had to cut that part out. Can't believe I didn't figure that out on my own. Like, oh, there he is. The picture looks savage, Jordan. All right, no time to look at that. Gotta hide. Close this door. And this is what you're gonna be doing a lot in this game. <laughs> this is pretty much what you're gonna be doing a lot because um, it's really annoying because uh. You know, you're trying to do something, this guy fart looks wrong. I mean, he just comes out of nowhere. And also, you cannot turn on lights in the rooms because um, he's going to run over there and see what's going on. So it's best to stay in the dark, wait until he passes by to try to sneak out. See, I had to skip that part too <laughs> because I was... Oh, see, look at that. He's coming over here now. I'm out the door. Reminded me of the grudge. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about with the mini ghost collections. Um, well, that's that's one. So I'm pretty much only two ghosts that I have found in this game that I played. I never was able to find out the other ones. I was the ghost that hanged so There's a. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Chris Satamo or something. Never heard of it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a word that was. Oh, yeah. It's a drawing of a bird cage. There's no bird inside. I never figured out what those things was for. Like, um, the little drawings on the walls. Like I said, I'm not interested in playing the game over, so I don't care. <laughs> you guys want to find out, maybe you can look it up on Google or YouTube or something. But, um, I don't know how, after being the game, I wasn't interested in playing it over again. I wasn't, replay value wasn't that, you know, up there in this game. What was she doing by that flower? But like I was trying to say before, yeah, so it was a lot of parts I had to cut out because it was annoying to, you know, sit there, stand or hide, <laughs> hide there in corners by like um, desks for like a few minutes. And I was like, okay, I'm going to cut these parts out. So, yeah, you don't want to just see me standing there in one spot all day waiting for somebody, this old man to pass by. Stupid janitor with his damn flashlight. This is 
something you see really, oh. you know, often. My channel is me doing these little you. You know, horror games. Love horror what games. <laughs> Indie horror games, triple A. So you had it then. You came here just to do that? Well, it's actually both you're supposed to give her. Jihyeon is here too? What the hell? <laughs> this game really took a turn of events going on like that there were ghosts, like there were monsters. Yeah, I had to skip that part. This is um the part that I got that I was stuck at in the PC version and also when I had a press back. Um I had that's when I had to, you know I had Google to step in and help me with this puzzle. That's when I found that tutorial. Really um you know, thought out tutorial, really in depth, shows everything besides the spoilers, which was great. Um, that's the article, I mean, yeah, article website that I was using the whole time to so, um, figure this part, this part out. This puzzle was really, it was annoying. Like, oh my god, it took a while for me to try. And, I tried to figure out myself, but it was like I can't do this, so I had to look at an um, article. And still a lot of things you have to do, but. I was able to do it. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna need this code to, to uh, lock that safe over. Uh, my friend actually helped me out with this puzzle too because um, I was actually sure playing with him. So I wanted to watch him play it. <laughs> so he was watching me. Pretty much watched me through the whole game. He helped me out with the puzzles. He's a little bit he's a little bit better with puzzles than me. Or much better than me with puzzles. So uh, but with his help and with the help of this tutorial, I was able to get through this game. It was really annoying because I know the notes, they tell you things to do. Just some point that really just doesn't explain it. Type by fire. Yeah, those are like a a side quest to do with those typewriter buttons, which I never was able to complete. Yeah, this part was annoying, I remember this part. Hmm. Yeah, I think that was the time when I was looking at the article. <clears throat> yeah, something to do with those those years. With that. <laughs> and I'm 
had to keep backing out, so it's like you said it. Because I don't feel it's all the way to the set it, but back out of there. So you can go back in to do it over. Yeah, I had to reset it again. should have but I remember this part I was reading that and then my um, friend was through the ship they was you know trying what to do but with, I can't mess them up with going left for lights how to go out of the save to reset it and then go back into the save play all time. Right, so I got the chemical solvent right, this is a rumor I don't feel like reading that right now <laughs> it's not on a timer I have to hurry up and save that girl Checking the stuff for a long time. <laughs> but that line, I haven't saved with whatever that thing was. Giant tree monster. theme song. That's the room where that monster's in. Once I complete this part, then I can go in there. Because if not, I'm getting instant killed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go in there. Corner by the edge. I don't know where the janitor is. All of a sudden, he's gone. Was that the was that the insect repellent he was using as a flamethrower? <laughs> but how? How did? Yeah, yeah. This game doesn't really <laughs> ain't nothing good. Yeah, 
sorry because I had to edit out a lot of that video and also had distractions in my house so I had to stop the recording as well my voice recording and the video so yeah so here I am I'm back yeah I had to cut out a lot of the video because um it was just me walking around trying to figure out something and um yeah so I took that part out but um yeah so here we are back with the video and um on the right track now I figured out what I was supposed to do um, I got the token which I'm going to use to unlock the other door to get into the second part of the building to school so yeah and here's another one of those ghost stories <clears throat> that voice that beckons me he could not escape and die the fire it was deeply saddened by B's death she couldn't almost hear B screaming out uh, a knew it must be an auditory hallucination created by sadness and guilt, but A was in agony nonetheless. Okay. I don't know what's with this A and B thing, but <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, now all these articles I, I, you know, I read through when I was playing the game. Some of that I just skimmed through it because there's a lot of reading, and now all of them are interesting like that, you know, it's not... No, compared to like, you know, Resident Evil, I love reading the, the articles and those things, the documents, the diaries you find, the journals, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so, so I got my token, back to that ghost story, I got another cutscene. Hey, why are you still here? Anyway, what was that noise I heard? What do you mean, So Young's gone? <sighs> hmm, I don't understand what you're saying. Why are there so many guys in this school who uh, are completely obsessed with girl's attitude? But yeah, <laughs> she's not even that pretty. be honest are you here this late because you're into so young as well is it because oh, tomorrow, tomorrow is white day, day. <laughs> oh, tonight what oh, <sighs> game story is so have it weird. your way then look wake up stupid you think you're the only one so young bewitched with that face of hers you don't know this but she's a manipulative witch. <laughs> really, so we don't really like that. Yes, she is. And that's not all. There are a ton of totally strange rumors about her. Rumor oh, has it that? so young. Huh? Did you hear something <laughs> just now? So she get. I go out to so young. So young. So they're the same names, what the hell? So young, so young, hey. It's that same lady. She hanged herself and she fell when she was coming after me like what a grudge. What are you doing in here? Her body's not there, where'd she go? Tell me, what happened earlier? Because, please say thanks. Yeah, I'm fine. I can't remember anything. I woke up on the floor of a completely different room. I have a feeling that tonight is very different. Maybe the day is here. You know something too, don't you? Yeah. Curious as what's going on. You really don't know anything at all? All right, that's fine. This school has so many hidden secrets. 
I'm gonna go now. If you want to leave the school, go to main building too. All right. That's exactly what I want to do. Is get out of here. Cause that this school's crazy, and that ghost has been watching me. The one that hanged herself. I just noticed when I saw her the second time. How did she hang herself? I don't see any ropes or anything around her neck. She's just like floating there. But anyways, <laughs> uh, hope she doesn't like try to chase me later on in the game. Time to get to the second building. To try and find a way out of the school. You know, it's a common setting with all these um these hard games. They love to use schools. Schools or a hospital. It's, <laughs> it's like the two main places. Alright, time to go to the main building too. If you run for too long, you'll get dizzy. Please take a rest. Alright, here we are. Second building. I had to find a way to get to the new building. Wow. Well, you just got to this building, so how do you know about it? Other building you have to get to to escape. She said to go to this building to escape. Okay. This is guy's like getting ahead of himself. He already knows exactly what he's supposed to do. Stand outside. <laughs> Close that door first. That's another thing I like about it, um, horror games. Um, I know it's a calming setting to use, but when it's raining, <clears throat> sorry about the voice, but um, yeah, yeah, when it's raining and when it's like thunder, it really, it really sets, it really sets the mood. <laughs> All right, investigation report: the mental health of the students, the anxiety of the students, and the effective coping methods. My natural considering the state as a docent, so some students are using odd methods in an attempt to cope with their anxiety issues. These odd coping methods are spreading across the school like wildfire. In a way, this brings light to the fact that students today lack responsibility and a sense of identity. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> so much, so much, so, so much writing. One of the main coping methods that students are using is the act of the calling of the dead using the Ouija boards. Wow. Another common thing in horror. <laughs> well, not really in games, but as most of like uh, movies. Ouija boards. What was that? What is that? Creepy. At the time, when he first was approaching me, I'm like, can I move? Can I run? Oh, he's getting closer. And he's like, just zip through me. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh boy. I don't like any scary babies in uh, horror games. <laughs> or demon babies or whatever. It's creepy. But yeah, that part I had cut out of the video as well because it was, of course, me again being confused where to go. And uh, stupid janitor again, so I had to cut that part out. So here we are inside this room. These class materials and these metal and wood and earth and fire element stuff. I know it refers to the talismans, but it's not important because you already know what the talismans are supposed to be used for. You gotta use it for the toys. <laughs> and. It's not like you get multiple talismans and you're confused with what door to put. You already know once you get the talisman, you already know which door to use on it. There's only one talisman door in each building. So yeah. Now there's something shiny. So this one looks like a computer room, study, study room or something. Oh, look at these old computers. <laughs> Remember those days. Now I haven't had a like a computer in a while. I'm, you know, mostly just have been using a laptop for years, so I know that they're a little bit different now. Yeah, I always prefer laptops. Oh, 
portable, you know, carry them wherever. Let's continue your work. You continue your work from there. <clears throat> but yeah. Alright, All right, so this is for. Okay, this is for the principal's door, the passcode. Principal's office. Okay, I mean, from the letter we can see that it's passcode on this door. It has to be hiding something in there. And we got four floors of this map. I mean, this main building. Main building two. And we had the new building, then the auditorium, and then that's it. Yeah. We're finished with this game. And there we go again with that annoyance humming sound. This is one of the codes that I haven't was able to figure out. Uh, it's one of the side side quests, but uh, I never got to do this one. in the game and get to the other buildings um, they give you little hints and everything so you, you know to like how to solve these puzzles but honestly I was in the mood to go back to these other buildings like I said <laughs> pre you know, previously but um yeah it was just I just want to be <laughs> done with the game and that janitor was just annoying so I didn't even feel like going back to the other other buildings alright so, so it's a jacket Smile at their jacket. Oh, there's something in there. Students' department key. Alright. Another document. Let's check in here first. Nothing, of course. Why do I even open these drawers? Nothing in there. <laughs> Caffeine and teenagers. <laughs> Coffee is the most popular beverage. Containing caffeine. Moderate consumption of caffeine can stimulate the central nervous system, boosting working performance and reducing fatigue. On average, consuming no more than 400 milligrams is recommended to enjoy the health benefits. A cup of coffee contains approximately 100 milligrams of coffee. For adults, a lethal dosage of caffeine is 150. Wow. Well, 50 to 200 cups of coffee. The lethal dose is much lower for children and teenagers. Caffeine is also known to cause birth defects. Hmm. Well, I'm not a big fan of coffee. Well, I mean, I am, but not of the caffeinated version. <laughs> I like mine's decaf. I like the taste of coffee, but I'm, I'm, I don't like the caffeine. So I usually just take the decaf. But once a blue, more of a tea person. But yeah, but I already know that caffeine is no good. Everyone should know that. Like, too much of it is no good. Yeah, like alcohol and nicotine, caffeine is a drug with addictive properties. But like the others, it does not have any age restrictions. Therefore, it's important to better understand the properties of caffeine and moderate its consumption. And that's true. So for you people who love coffee, that's for you. <laughs> well, coffee with caffeine. Or any type of caffeine, be caffeine caffeinated beverages, sorry. What was that noise? This game gets to me with these noises, that's what bothers me. Ugh. Another, another le letter. Cult Club. The treasure sleeping on the place covered by the dust of erased knowledge. It can only be woken by the hand that handshakes every day. And this was another side um, quest I was supposed to do, but I never completed it. There was a lot of stuff I have complete. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get it done with the game, so I'm interested to know what it is. Like some of these, some of these like side quests I was supposed to do, I'm just not really interested in doing the gameplay over. So I'll eventually probably just check online to see if I can find somebody else who did that. You know, you know Google, YouTube, two main places to look for stuff. <laughs> 
research things. I love going in these bathrooms. I don't know why I love looking through the window because I, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like something's just gonna pop out. You know, one of the stalls is gonna slowly open or something. You know. Who's that? It's my flesh and toilet. But wait, there. There is no toilet. Wait, what is those things in there? You know, I just noticed that. Is now what is that on the floor? Like, what country does this take? Does this take place in? I'm curious. I don't know, I have a wild guess it's taking place in maybe Korea, Thailand. I know they're really good when it comes to horror. <laughs> this must be way back in the years. God. I think that's a noise from those fans. It just sounds like it sounds like it was like a ghost like making a noise there. Yeah, I'm not closing that door. Keep that door open. This bathroom only has one window. And documents. Ooh, another rumor. One paper ghost in the music room. Well, it's not a ghost story, but... It's, I mean, it's not under ghost stories, but... Many ghosts, kind of ghosts, have been appearing in the music room. The most common one seen is the piano ghost. Apparently, this ghost appears when it's dark and rainy and plays the piano alone. Another ghost sighting states that a stereo in the music supply room turns itself on. Hmm. Yeah, I just quickly look through, skim through that stuff. <laughs> just want to read a little bit of it. So, goes in a or a music room that plays the piano. You now, even though school is a common setting in horror games, it's, it's usually a, the best setting to use. I don't know, it's just that environment, especially hospitals. I think hospitals are worse. Hospitals are way worse not to use as for a horror game location in schools. So many floors. Alright, this is. That was the second floor. Yeah, the second floor. And there's a talisman to get to the next building. The new building. That vending machine. Alright, I had to cut that part out as well because after that part is where I was stuck again. I think this is like the last part of the first part of this um, video. I had to do this in two parts because um, it was a long game and if I would have pieced everything together, it would have been like over two hours. <laughs> and who really wants to watch this for two hours and a half? Even one hour is too much, but um, I mean, it was a long playthrough. I mean, Apart from me being stuck all the time and walking around aimlessly and hiding from the damn janitor for like minutes in one spot. Other than that, that's, you know, you know when I got everything down, you know, I was able to, that article helped me out and my share play with my friend. I was able to skip through this, but um, still was long. But um, you, can, you can beat this game in like two days. Say two days, like, like if you have nothing else to do, you can, you can beat it in two days. Yeah, it's fairly quick game. Oh, that cottage room looks set up. <laughs> Another school coin. That's the bomb key. Still like checking these drawers even though there's nothing in there. And I know there's a key to open the middle drawer, which I believe is where you can find things. It's just, I wasn't able to, um, Go back to the other building to try and figure out how to get the key. So yeah. And unfortunately you guys are not gonna be able to find out through the my gameplay. <laughs> yeah. What's that noise? Oh my god. Is somebody trying to open a door? Is that this door? Oh, wasn't the bathroom door because it's open already. <sighs> Unless the ghost saw that it thought it was locked in his world <laughs> or hers. Just... Oh. Man, this game creeps me out with the noises and. But it's good. It really, really, really did his part. Alright, so lost the file. This key. Is the 
it's that baby again. It's that goddamn demon child. Sound. <laughs> I ran out of the room so quick because I thought he was in there still. Ooh, it scared me. Ugh. Hey, let's turn his lights first. He's no longer here. Close this door. I can feel safer. It's like my little safe room when I close the door and turn the lights on, like Resident Evil. <laughs> Minus a nice, tranquil theme, you know, <laughs> safe room theme music. He's stationed every paper. He's forgiving me for not saying goodbye in person. I'm being forced to leave, all because of a sick rumor. Should you hear a rumor about me, please do not pay any attention to it. It's a story made up by people plotting against me. Once I leave, I'm sure you'll be bored, because there will be no one left to entertain your ridiculous theories and ideas. For me, I'll be sad because there'll be no more, no one to understand my world of art. To ease the sadness of saying goodbye, I leave you a farewell gift. Is the farewell gift 